Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Caché Premium Belgian Chocolate Assortment. This was $9.99 at Trader Joe's, but you get 24 pieces of chocolate in this box. Um, it had two clear bands around it, so it wasn't like in plastic, just two clear bands. I took them off so that I could open it up and uh, take a picture of what's inside. So these are the 24 chocolates that you get, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six, there are eight different flavors. So it says, does chocolate heaven exist? If it does, it wouldn't be very far off from this ultimate collection of Cachet's creations. Picture biting into smooth chocolate with raspberry, where the five senses delight in the taste of perfect harmony. Or imagine savoring the sophisticated fusion of dark chocolate with caramel and fleur de sel, where the contrast of flavors lingers eagerly on your tongue. Every piece of chocolate delicacy is a symphony of mouth-watering sensations that tango with your taste buds. Indulge in a bite of pure cocoa love and share the bliss of these premium Belgian chocolates with your family and friends during this festive season. So like I said, these are made in Belgium. They're actually made by Kim's Chocolates. Uh, two chocolates, 27 grams or 140 calories. Somebody spent a lot of money writing up that description. They did. So we have <laughs> one, two, three, four of these are in dark chocolate. Two are in white chocolate, and two are in milk chocolate. So let's go with, what do you think? Let's start with the dark. Let's go with dark. Okay. Uh, this, uh, this one that looks, this one right here. This one. Well, Here's wait a minute. There's these four. Okay. Or these eight of them. That one right there. That looks like a rock. No? Yes. This is pure ganache that looks like a rock. dark chocolate. So this one might be hard to cut though, I don't know. No, good. Don't poke yourself. All dark. Hmm. That's a nice chocolate. I think it is too. Mm -hmm. Very creamy, mm -hmm. rich flavors. It is a little dark, but it's not like really, really bitter dark. No, it's it, it has a terrific flavor. It's nice. Um, Almost yeah. like it has alcohol in it. But it's so creamy. That's what makes it uh, uh, nice to eat is because it has a very crisp outer shell. Mm -hmm. And then it's so creamy on the inside. It makes it very nice to eat. Yeah, that's good. Let's try this one. This one should be... Caramel and sea salt. I love their molds. They're, I do they're too. unique. They are unique. We have actually reviewed this brand before in their chocolate bars or their candy bars. Um, I'm thinking we found them years and years ago at the checkout at Tuesday morning. And the, sorry, they have colorful uh, wrappers. It's a call. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. You know what? The caramel is so strong that you couldn't tell it's dark chocolate yeah. at all. No, it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. Very strong. It's good though. And I mean that's saying something. That that caramel is so strong and sweet mm -hmm. that it overpowers any dark chocolate. So you would have no idea you were eating a dark chocolate. No, but it's very good flavor though. That is delicious. That one... Let's do this one, yes. This is pure ganache on marzipan. And I love marzipan. A little layer of They literally mean on marzipan. <laughs> And this is going to be the last one. You get that kind of gritty texture from that marzipan. You sure do. And it has a terrific flavor. That one's good, but I like one of the other ones better. Mm. It's very this strong. is the last search up. I love the flavor of the marzipan. That is what you primarily taste. 
it's it's very good and it does have a grittiness to it just like kevin's um this last one it, it, this is the last dark chocolate it is raspberry cream You immediately get raspberry. And that's my favorite. That is, that's my favorite too. That one and the first one. One of my favorites. The, just the chocolate one. Um, this raspberry cream okay. one, not only does it have a great raspberry flavor, but you also get that topping that they used. It's like um, a freeze dried. It's like little freeze dried raspberries, but it doesn't taste like freeze dried. But that's just the they're very very crisp, mm -hmm. like like um, like sugar, but it's raspberry. Yep. And it's yep. delicious. It's excellent. The texture is really good too. The texture of that chocolate, the outer coating seems softer. The whole thing seems softer. It did. Except for those pieces, and that added the crispiness to it. It yeah. was delicious that was though. Okay, next we're gonna try the uh, this one. Uh, this is just a smooth caramel, and this is our first milk chocolate. This looks like something in a video game. Like something you pick up as a reward or something. <laughs> you can tell I don't... <laughs> caramel. Yes, caramel. Yeah, this one there. Mm -hmm. yeah, that looks like a chest you would open in a video game. Something would be in there. Like in Minecraft? Mm -hmm. That? That one actually has something written on it. Mm -hmm. It says uh, made in Belgium. <laughs> um, that is so rich. And now, the caramel's good. Oh, listen. I could have a whole candy bar of that. Just and, the chocolate and the caramel. And the caramel. The caramel is, it's wonderful. Yeah, wonderful it's very smooth. Caramel. It's delicious. Very, very sweet. It's a, it's a runnier caramel, but it, it's it's good. Now, the the one in dark chocolate said caramel and sea salt. Yeah, I did get a little salt. <coughs> See, I did. See, I did. I thought, and oh, I was just chocolate. thinking that this caramel tasted the same as the caramel to me in the dark. It just, but I didn't taste any sea salt. Yeah, see, I got a little salt with the dark one. So they must have put sea salt in it, and I just didn't taste it. This one is hazelnut cream. It's like a little, little crunchy bits in there. Mm hmm It's almost like sugar crystals, but it's not quite that crunchy. But the hazelnut cream is very strong. Mm -hmm. It's good. I really like that. I tell you what. That's probably one of my favorite ones. This, this box was $9.99. Well worth it. Yeah. Well worth yeah, it. The flavor we all have really spent good. so much more on boxes of chocolate and home goods that haven't been anything. Um, and, and this is so delicious. That hazelnut, does it say it has what little crystals are? It says hazelnut cream and a word that I can't pronounce. Oh, so okay. I just so that didn't must even be the crystals. say it. That must be um, the crystals. Because it's, it looks like something French. Fuelatine. Yeah, who knows. And I don't know what that is, so I, I just left that off and huh. said hazelnut. That must be what those little crystals are, though. Because it's like little crystally sugar things. That's my way of dealing with things I can't pronounce is I just leave it off and just no, pretend it's like it no. It's a foreign word. I, I don't know what that is. Know. But it, it, it was a delicious hazelnut flavor. It was. But it did have little crispy beans. And they weren't big enough to be like, like in a Nestle Crunch Bar, those are big crispy pieces. These weren't big crispy No, they were very teeny, 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 like sugar. tiny. Yeah. This one is vanilla mousse. And it's got a little chocolate on the bottom. I mean, like a milk or dark chocolate. Wow. I could eat a candy bar like that. I love the white chocolate. That, that's a candy bar I could eat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, I love excellent. the crispy pieces. Yeah. Yeah, that's really, really good. It's like, 
like the raspberry had those uh, crispy pieces of raspberry on top. Mm -hmm. This has like crispy pieces of that vanilla flavor sugar oh, on vanilla top. Vanilla sugar, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's delicious. And the white chocolate is so sweet with it and then I'm glad we decided to end on white chocolate. Yeah, it was, it's, it's really sweet, very creamy. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. is the coffee cream. It's, it's got that little chocolate button at the bottom. That one's a little more dense. Hmm. That's really good. It's so creamy. Out of all of them, that's probably my least favorite. Really? Only because I wouldn't want to eat a, a bunch of chocolate. I like that, like with that coffee flavor. Right. But it's still very good. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to tell you why. But that's out of the eight, that's probably my least favorite one. There, there is not one in here that I did not like. No, I would eat. I mean, I would eat yes. those. Yes. Usually there's That would be the ones, ones I would pick first to get rid of. Right. Yeah. Usually though, there's one in the box that I just don't like at all. Oh, I yeah. just don't yeah, it's want like, to oh, I don't want to eat any more of that. Yeah, like I've had one and like I don't want any part of that yeah. because it'll have like a floral flavor or something like right. that. And I just will not like it. This box has none that I would not eat. No, I agree. Over and over again. And if I had to choose one. Oh, just one that you would eat over oh, and over again? just one out of the whole box. Oh, can we have two? Okay. Sure, I'll give you time. Well, I'm just thinking the vanilla mousse, absolutely. Love I know. That. I'm thinking and the hazelnut one are my two favorites. Yeah, the hazelnut was really good. And if I had to pick one of those two, it would probably be the um, hazelnut. Okay, the hazelnut was in milk chocolate. Yeah. The vanilla was in white chocolate. Do you? What is your favorite from a dark? Um, probably the raspberry one. Raspberry, yeah. But overall, out of the entire box, I will say my favorite is the vanilla mousse too. Yeah, um, it's very, very good. It's the white with the little crispy pieces on top. Uh, but now, truly, this, you're getting a deal. For $9.99, this is a heck of a gift. And because it's such good quality, because like I said, We've bought some real stinkers from Yeah, for Home 12 Goods. or $13. Yes, that were made in Turkey, and I don't want to paint everything from Turkey as being bad, but we bought several boxes, several different names from Turkey, and did not like them at oh. all. <laughs> um, and so, uh, when you've been burned like that several times, it makes you not want to try anything, you know? Uh, but this was absolutely delicious for a terrific price. Uh, this would be a, a great gift to give somebody mm -hmm. or if you have um, one of those big stockings You could put this as a stocking stuff or whatever. I just think if you're going to somebody's house as a um, If they're gonna have dinner for you or whatever this would be a nice housewarming uh, Or a nice gift for the Host, host, yeah. hostess gift. That's what I mean hostess gift um, I just think it's a great deal. Yeah. And I or if you're you, going to something you're required to bring a $10 gift, perfect. $10. Oh yeah, this is a $10 gift, you're right. I'm wondering when these, uh, how long these are good for because right. I'm thinking uh, you could buy them and have them at uh, New Year's or whatever, here we go. These are good until July of 2021. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, seven months, yeah. Eight months. So, and it's just a festive red box. It doesn't necessarily scream Christmas. So, you know, you could carry it on into the new year, definitely. Oh, they're 100% worth buying. Yeah, I'm wondering like if they have a ton of them at Trader Joe's, will they go on sale? Is what I'm thinking. Uh, because uh, if you can get that, if $10 it's a deal, but if you can get it even cheaper, then, then you're doing really, really good. But you can see we have like, two full boxes of chocolate left after eating a whole a whole box basically you know so i hope you enjoyed the video i'm not going to have a picture of the inside i will have a picture of what they look like on the outside yeah we don't want to cut it but i don't want to waste it yeah there's no point in me wasting it or just, i was having to eat them <laughs> just forced me uh so i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching